Welcome back to Patriot League Media Day. It's football media day as we get ready for the football season for 2015. We're in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the Green Pond Country Club. I am joined by three Leopards who are expected to have a terrific football season this year. To my far right is Matt Smalley, already first team all Patriot League and also picked as an All-American as a defensive back and also as a return specialist. Alongside of him with the big beard, that is Bobby DiPietro. He is the tight end for Lafayette. Bobby out of Westlip, New York. And also next to him is Nick Zadaveski out of uh, Delran, New Jersey. Nick, of course, will be along that offensive line. Matt, I'm gonna start with you since you are the furthest away. First of all, congratulations on the preseason awards. Although being all Patriot League is nothing new to you. I think this is the third time. Yeah, it is. thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, obviously a uh, special honor, and not too many players are picked all league in two categories, but uh, you are one of the best, if not the best, uh, return specialist in the league. You have proven that with a 99-yard return, a 98-yard touchdown return in your career. Uh, talk a little bit about preparing to return kickoffs, uh, what it's all about, and maybe the exhilaration when you realize that uh, maybe no one's between you and the goal line. <laughs> well, now that, now that we got a... Uh... You know, catching the ball down, that's, that comes second nature. So now it's just, you know, running the plays right. Uh, you know, when we get the up front line, and Coach McFadden does a good job with all the schemes and stuff and uh, making uh, making the returns work. So, but uh, all of this is just, you know, everybody executing and when everybody executing, I got the ball in my hand. I just, I feel confident that I could make a play, so. And one change I've noticed uh, over the years, having covered Lafayette now, I think this is my 18th season, is there's a lot more attention given to every practice on special teams, and that obviously has benefited not only you but the entire team. Yes, we do. We do um, pay attention a lot to special teams, especially at the start, start of practice. You know, we, we start practice with special teams, and um, you know, we watch we watch film during the week. Special teams, we do a lot of special team stuff. Coach McFadden mm -hmm. does a good job with that. So um, yeah, it's taken very serious. You also are going to be part of a secondary that is expected to really be as good, if not the best secondary in the entire Patriot League. You've got uh, alongside of you Phil Parham, Draylon James, Jared Roberts, also all league. I mean, those guys are all back from last year. Uh, you have to feel pretty comfortable back there with the four of you. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, to play with the same guys over and over again, you kind of you kind of like develop um you know, a relationship. So everything's kind of clicking and we all having fun out there, all competing at the same time because everybody wants to get the most picks and mm -hmm. the most pass breakups. So that makes it that makes it a uh, really fun time. Well, you guys make my co-analyst, uh, Mike Joseph, a little nervous. He holds the record, as you may or may not know, for <laughs> interceptions it. in a career. And uh, he gets nervous every time you uh, intercept the football <laughs> or Jared intercepts the football. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I would like to try to get that this year. <laughs> well, it wouldn't bother me if you break the record because I'll spend the rest of the game busting on him. So. So go for it. Yeah, uh, I'll see you trying. soon uh, in the backfield, of course. Yeah, all right, yes. let's talk a little bit offensive line. First of all, we'll go with a guy who's expected to catch the football as well as block, Bobby DiPietro, 6'3", 255. Uh, he is a senior. And, uh, Bobby, you, you've had a rather interesting career. You've played defense and offense and now back on offense. How difficult was that transition for you? Uh, you know, it really wasn't that bad. Um, I guess my first spring on offense, Coach Clayton really took baby steps with me, and uh, Coach Beal really took it easy, really helped me learn the offense. So it really wasn't too bad. It wasn't too much of a difference because I played wide receiver and tight end in high school, so I kind of had the basics, but mm -hmm. they really took baby steps with me and helped me learn, so it wasn't too bad. Do you have a favorite side of the football? Uh, I do prefer the offense now. I thought uh, originally that I was a straight-up defensive player, but... You know, the way they've brought me in and really utilized me helped me appreciate the offense a lot more, and I've had fun. In your high school career, were you at, at any time a pass catcher? Yeah, I was. I played wide receiver. I had a couple touchdowns here and there. I mean, I wasn't the main wide receiver, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I did play. I assume you weren't the quickest wide receiver either <laughs> at, at this no, size. I, I was a little faster in high school, but I, I wasn't the fastest. Uh, I ran track and all that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bigger than okay. most of the other guys. I would assume that tight end is a very difficult position to play. Uh, you usually are thrown a pass when nobody expects you to get it. Uh, so there's, there's reading the defense properly. But also, most of the time, you're required to, to do as much blocking uh, along that line of scrimmage as these guys are. So uh, you've got to really learn a lot of things, right? Yeah, I think that's actually probably the hardest part for me. The hardest part of the game is just the mental stuff because – you know, we're in the meetings with the offensive linemen trying to learn everything that they're learning. 
and then we're off on our own with the wide receivers, the quarterbacks, trying to learn all the routes, trying to get in rhythm with the quarterbacks, learn the snap counts and everything like that. So that is one of the most difficult things for us. All right, Nick, I'll turn my attention to you. Uh, you also part of this offensive line, and I guess if there's the biggest question mark coming into the season, it, it's the offensive line, not necessarily uh, you guys, uh, Connor Staudel and you, both of them picked to be all league. But the offensive line seems to be, uh, if everybody's going to pick a key to the success of the season, mm -hmm. the pressure's on you guys. Yeah, that's, that tends to be how it usually is. You know, um, I mean, we got a good, a good group of young guys. Um, we're talented. Mm -hmm. Just got to get the cohesion together and just make sure we're all on the same page. So you and Connor have been together now for a, a number of years. That mm -hmm. has to work well for both of you. Who are the, some of the young guys that are coming in that you, you expect uh, will really have to fill a major role here? Uh, definitely Mike Donnelly right now. Um, he looks like he's going to be our starting center. Mm -hmm. um, and Cam Smith at the left tackle position, um, depending on whether I play left or right. And then also we... Uh, need to fill a right guard position too as well so we're hoping that a young guy steps up uh, maybe it's a freshman maybe it's sophomore senior anybody it could be anybody when i come to practice i see you working on a lot of technical things a lot mm -hmm. of small things uh which probably the average fan doesn't even realize you need to do can you talk a little bit about some of those things that you you need to know in order to to mm -hmm. block well to understand where the play is going and things of that nature yeah i feel i feel like blocking um itself is so much technique and it's little things here mm -hmm. and there. And Coach Clayton does a really good job of having us practice before practice, like 20 minutes before practice. We'll get out there, do our footwork, do steps and stuff, and work on hand placement drills for pass blocking and everything like that. And, and it really helps out in the long run because when you have those little techniques that you can go back to and when you're doing doing it so much, you get, it, you get muscle memory. So when you get those techniques to use in the game, it's so much easier to block. So. And I assume, too, with uh, both of our quarterbacks injured last year, both mm -hmm. of them back, that uh, your primary goal for the rest of the season is keep uh, keeping the quarterbacks healthy. Oh, absolutely. Yep, that and run the ball. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about having your brother on the football team. He's a freshman, <laughs> uh, Kevin Zadovesky. Yep. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's, he's bigger than you. He's 6'4", 300 pounds already. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit heavier than me. I, I still got him in the height. You can still uh, wrestle with yeah. him, beat him up a little bit? Uh, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Coach Fine wants us to have a wrestling match in the locker room and see how <laughs> that goes. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice uh, to have him. I mean, he, he's been up here all summer with mm -hmm. me. Um, he's really just trying to take everything in as it goes. And, I mean, hopefully he has a step up on everybody. But, I mean, he's been working out with me for four years now. Yeah. And he's been learning a little bit, like, here and there. So, I mean, hopefully he gets a chance. I don't know. So no nice. sibling rivalry there between nah, the two of you? No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. Well, these are two of the guys whose names I will be calling for almost uh, the entire season as all of them are uh, counted upon to have a great, great year. Guys, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the summer, and I'll see you at game one. Thank you. This is the Patriot League Media Day. I'm Gary Laubach.